What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Navisworks 2022. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Switchback. Okay, so Switchback enables you to select an object in Autodesk Navisworks and then locate and zoom into the same object in Revit. Okay, so you can use the switchback functionality with the version, if I'm not mistaken, 2017 Revit up to the latest version, which is 2022. So right now, I'm using uh, Revit 2022 and Navisworks 2022 as well. So as you can see, I already exported my Revit model into Navisworks. Okay, so how to use your Navisworks? So what you do is, of course, make sure you have the add-ins. Okay, so make sure you have the Navisworks uh, 2022 and Switchback add-ins installed in your machine. Okay, so if you do not have that, you can just simply search it from Google. So you can get your uh, Navisworks there here in this website. Let me just show you quickly the website. Okay, this is the one that I'm talking about. So you just need to go to this link or to this uh, website, Autodesk slash products, Navisworks, 3D viewers, and then install the exporter. So once you install the exporter, so you will you should be able to see that in the add-ins tab, and then the external tools, this two functionality here. Now, after you install it, after you export your model to Navisworks, the next thing that you're going to do is, let me just save this one first. The, the second uh, option or the second step is you go to external tools and then select Navisworks Switchback 2022. Just click that one and then after that you may now close your project but do not close Revit. Okay so you can close now the project okay and then let us go back to our uh, Navisworks. So here's the Navisworks. Okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go inside the room so I'm going to use the walk tool here I'm going to walk in, let me just pan my drawing or my model, and then I'm going to walk inside. Okay, let me just pan a little, orbit a little, okay, and then walk inside. Okay, so let's say for example, uh, I want to know what is this one. Okay, so what is this element? So I just select here, select, and then I select that particular element. So I click that one, so you should be able to see the properties here. So it tells me that that is a Milliel built under dishwasher G4101 UCS, and then these are the properties. Now, if you want to look this model in Revit, so let's say, for example, you want to edit that into Revit, Okay, or you want to change that one. So you select the object and then right click and you should be able to see there the switch back, uh, switch back functionality. So just click that one. And then once you click that, you will notice here my Revit icon starts to blink, right? Okay, so as you can see, if I click that one, Revit will automatically open the file and zoom into that particular view. That's the one that I'm talking about. Okay, so you should be able to see now your model like this in your Revit. So that's a good way of uh, viewing the selected elements in Navisworks and then to your Revit model using the switchback. But of course, if you are going to edit this model, so let's say you are going to move that to this area here. So let's say you want to move that let's say here, you want to put it there. So you need to ex re-export this one again. Okay, so I don't think there's a functionality wherein you just simply just go back again to your Navisworks and you should be able to see the changes here. No, so it's not like that. So if you do some changes in your 3D model, so here in your 3D model, so make sure you re-export this one. So again, it's another it's another step. Okay, so hopefully there is there is that feature wherein once you modify your model in your Revit, you just need to save it and then go back to Navisworks and then just uh, refresh it. Because at the moment, even if I save this one, 
and then I go back again to Navis Works, and then there's a refresh here, so nothing is happening, right? So if you want to reflect your changes in the Revit to your Navis Works, so make sure you re-export the 3D model again, and then after that, open it again in Navis Works. So basically, your na your switchback only function as a uh, viewer. Let's say you set. Uh, you just need to select the object in your Navis Works, and then you switch it back to Revit for you to be able to view that to Revit and modify it. Okay, but you cannot just simply change it and then go back again to Navis Works to see the changes. You need to re-export it. Okay, so that's how the that's how the switch back works. So it will just enables you to select an object in Navis Works and then just locate and zoom into the same object in Revit. Okay, so let's say for example I'm gonna use here selection box. Then I use this kind of selection like that. So I'm gonna right click. Mm, and there's this is another issue there. So as a group. I can't select here the the switch back functionality. So it only works when you select an object like that. So right click and then you can now see there the switch back. So I can select a uh, group. Okay, so let me just select the switch back and then look what will happen here. So I select switch back and then you will notice that it's now blinking again. So let us now click that and then voila. So it's now highlighted. Okay, so let me repeat. So let's say I'm going out. Okay, so let's say for example, um, this post here. So I select that one. So I select right click, switch back. Again, let's click and then there you go. So it's now highlighted, same view. Okay, so that's how your switch back works. So hopefully they're going to improve the switch back. But at the moment, that is how you do or that's how you uh, work on your switch back uh, tool. You just need to select, right click, switch back, and then you go to your Revit, and there you go. So it's now highlighted there. Okay? So you can see the properties. All right, so that is for this video. So hopefully you learned something from this. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.